Morning, everybody. It is 8.53, pre-opening comment, video number 1713. There's a lot of stuff here, so I want to try and get um, through it. Uh, Bank of England raised rates by a quarter of a percent, which was exactly what was expected. Um, and uh, Swiss National up 50 basis points to one and a half. Asia is mixed. Europe is about unchanged. Uh, claims, Thursday's claims day, uh, 191,000 initial claims. That's down from 198 expectation. Um, but the claims were only down literally a thousand. Uh, continuing claims, which were over 1.7 last week, were revised back to 1.68. And today, continuing 1.694, which is up 14,000. Um, general accounts deficit, 206 billion. Uh, that's a little bit better than expectations of 213. And also the high watermark, which was not that long ago at minus 282. So a little bit of improvement there. Uh, at 10 o'clock, we have new home sales. Kaufman and Broad uh, beat on earnings, um, gave somewhat poor guidance. The stock had closed 36.80 yesterday. Today, 37.63. That's up 83 cents or 2.2%. TikTok goes before Congress today. Uh, Chewy uh, was 37.76 down 212 at the close. Uh, their earnings were not great. Uh, the stock immediately traded down to 35.19. Last is 35.60, and that's down 216 or 5.7%. The big news is the Wells notice for Coinbase and the contagion going forward, um, including Square or Block whatever you want to call it these days. Uh, as I mentioned yesterday, Coinbase was down 685 at 77 and change. Uh, traded down to 66.11. Last is 66.75, down 13.5%, $10.39. And uh, Square, which closed the day yesterday at 72.65, which was within four cents of the low of the day has just plummeted here down to 57.60. Last is 58.14. That's down 14.40. So, you know, pretty big number. Um, there's a lot of bullshit going around on um, the banks. You know, Yellen says, yeah, they're not at risk, but they're not insured. So, you know, who knows what that actually means. It probably means they're going to backstop it all. Uh, and um, really, that's about it. Although I do want to talk to you about um, the futures trading program. Uh, Dennis is, Dennis last year was up, I think, 66%. He's up an additional 22% percent right now. All of the accounts that we have had, every single one of them is at new all-time highs. And so that's really hard to argue about. Um, if you're not involved, but you're trading size this is definitely something you need to be involved in. Not only is it advantageous versus trading options or stocks, but let's remember that um, these are markets that are open 23 and a half hours a day, five days a week. So there aren't really gaps, which leaves the um, use of stops which Dennis uses, uh, as a valid way to trade. I can't tell you the number of trades that we have missed 
over the last couple of years because I was looking for a pullback and it occurred overnight. And by the time we opened stocks and options the next morning, the risk had multiplied. You know, you want to buy gold at 1940 and it trades down there in the middle of the night and it comes back up and is trading 1965. Well, that adds $25 of risk to the trade. So it generally will make the trade undoable. Um, and last but not least, with all of the tax information that has been coming out, and clearly taxes are going to rise, regardless of what the Ghanists in the Beltway say, and besides what Sleepy Joe, the doddering old fool, uh, says, um, that means that there's a huge advantage to trading futures. You really need to direct message or call me, and you really need to hear what the whole story really is. And whether it's inflation or deflation, you need some protection, and that's what these futures markets do. All right, folks, I'll be back later. Um, Oh, by the way, uh, chart on the screen, oil, nice move, higher highs, higher lows every day. Today, it's a slightly lower high because it hasn't run up in the afternoon yet, which it has done recently. Um, I'm looking at 72 and a half, 73 as a place where we might get stuck a little. Uh, the high this day on the, you know, three or four days before the bottom was 72.71. I think we'll have some trouble getting through that, although the five-day has turned up. And uh, let's just take a quick look at the weekly. And on the weekly, you know, we couldn't look better. And even if we just come to under the line that I drew here, that's still 74.90. So, you know, um, if things are good, which a lot of these uh, labor statistics, etc., say that they are good for the economy, not necessarily good for the Fed, you know, then these are the kind of things that are going to come back into vogue. All right, everyone, I'll be back later.